Hello, 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 YouTube. Uh, it's it's me. Uh, welcome back to another one of my videos. This is the first episode, actually, of my um, epic reaction series. Um, so so today I'm gonna be reacting to this uh, this channel I found called WTCW Paranormal. Pre pretty big channel. He's got almost thirty subscribers. That's that pretty impressive. I say so. That's more than me. Um, but. You know, this guy, uh, it's, a, it's actually a group channel. They go and uh, investigate ghost things. And here they're talking about a haunted house in Virginia. Must must be my wife's house, am I right? So uh, yeah, I've never watched this before, so I'm going to blind react to it. So, um, so uh, let's, get, let's get right into this video. Bar. plug these in real quick. Sorry about that. Fairy House uh, Plantation. Fairy Plantation. No, it's still not plugged in. Oh, uh, never, never mind. They're plugged in. It's, it's too loud, though. Give me a, give me a second. We'll, uh, let's see. Alright. All right, I should full, I should full screen the video. Oh, let me, let me full screen the video real quick. Still too loud. Uh, all right, here we go. Let let let's get right into this. The 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 fairy plantation house. Hello, all my ghostly guys. And that's uh that's the that's WTCW himself. Um, if you guys couldn't tell. Uh, all right. And welcome back to another spooky video. So this is gonna be a two part. Story. I'm not, you know, he's he's calling it a spooky video, but. I gotta, I gotta tell you guys, I don't get scared by anything. Yeah, nothing has ever scared me in my life. So, I, you guys might get scared, but uh, you know, I gotta say, I don't get scared by anything. Ever actual documented haunted location or fix these real quick? I hope so, but I think this is gonna be one of my biggest projects. I can't ever. even hear what this guy's saying. Let me turn. Why is it so low? All right. Now, onto a deep dive on one of the most haunted houses in all of Virginia. Shit, that's scary. <laughs> History? Well, like, not scary, am I right? <laughs> the fairy plantation and its house were built on what was assumed to be Indian burial sites. The house gained its name when a ferry boat ran through the Linhaven waterway in 1642. And the You're telling me the boat ran through the waterway? Yeah, it didn't. It didn't float. No, it it ran. I'm starting to believe this video is fake. Plantation part as well, <laughs> kind of self-explanatory. The house was specifically built for Princess Anne the Second, and the home itself was built uh, on a plantation not too far from the old Donation Church. Pretty ugly people. This church was actually the location of Virginia's only ever conviction of witchcraft, trial by water. The convict, Grace Sherwood, was a daughter to a carpenter and a planter. You're, tell you're telling me that's Virginia? There is no way that's Virginia. Let me tell you. Virginia does not look like that. That's, that's, that's not... Alright, whatever. You know. Raised in the county of Princess Anne. She was casted upon a cross and dropped into the water. She managed to swim to the shore, which granted her the grand award of seven years of imprisonment. When released from prison, she lived out the rest of her life tending to the plantation and farming up until the ripe age of 80 years old. Her legacy was so Pretty legendary, old. she was nicknamed the Witch of Pungo and had a bronze statue of her appointed by Robert G. Cunningham. Fast forward to 1751. He already showed us this. Why is he showing us the same pictures? Anne. This was the place of residence for the loyalty until 1828 when the home was mysteriously burnt down. In two years' time, George and Elizabeth Wonke rebuilt the house from the ground up. That is the house that remains on the plantation today. They rebuilt the home for their 17 years old son, Charles Fleming McIntosh. When the Civil War rolled around, Charles and his family, as most functioning families did, partook in the war. Charles ended up being commissioned as the captain of the CSS Louisiana. He later resigned from the military and died in 1862. The home is a three-story manor which has previously housed slaves, soldiers, and royalty. 
It has been destroyed, relocated, and burnt down completely. Looks like the candle from a uh, Disney. Tragedy, one can only assume there's some paranormal activity attached, right? Ghosts. Not even scary. Ghosts. Yeah, more like not scary things. Am I right? What is that? Paranormal activity. It's not a ghost. Oh. Inextensive. But there is I don't even one know what this technology sure. hoo boo goo is. This home has many very well recognized spirits and potentially malicious beings that have been sighted in the That's that's just the, the wall. You know. Now, let's narrow it down to three main entities. Oh, scary Henry, book. Eric and Thomas. Must Williams. be the book I had to read in uh, English class. Which I didn't read by the way. Tampered with by some inhuman What's going entity. on over there? In fact, this has become even... such an issue oh, as a duty for light. employees and tour guides alike to make sure that all lights have been turned off before their shift is over. The light was Despite on. Despite these though. efforts, employees have documented it that when tours open once again the next day, lights have been turned on unattended overnight. This is especially an issue on the third floor in the cooking quarters. It can be explained for science, you know. Eric. Oh, what the the South Park guy? Yeah, can't scare me. Fallen Boy, that's just the that's the name of a band. Eric was a little boy who was presumed to have passed away from tripping and falling out of a window to his death. The window was located in the conference room. This is also where many encounters not a window. have taken place. His voice has been repeatedly recognized in EVP recordings, and it's said that if you bring him a toy, he will interact with it in some way. There has also been a little <laughs> Jesus! Oh! You can't scare me with dang pictures like that. <laughs> I didn't even, you know. That's that's not even that's a goblin, alright? You can't scare me with goblins like that, alright? You can't, you know. Her identity isn't 100% confirmed, and she is assumed to be a daughter of Charles McIntosh and died at about age 5, as Eric died sometime after 1850. Several times there has been a the two states. God! The, the pictures of these goblins, man. You know, put some ghost pictures, you know, because ghosts aren't scary. I, I guess he had to make the video scary the somehow, yeah, into the you know. Room while the little girl was always wearing Mary Jane shoes. Oh, uh, s <laughs> smoke, smoking weed. It's it's because he said Mary Jane. So, yeah. William, dumb last name, Thomas Williams. I guy can't even scare me. There once was a woman named Miss Nash. She had a daughter named Kathleen, and the two would frequent the fairy home. Things began becoming strained when Kathleen was repeatedly stating she saw a man with a beard and a dirty shirt. Things really became interesting when a painting of a previous homeowner, Thomas Williamson, hey, 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 that's Abraham Lincoln. That's not the even man the little girl was seeing matched Thomas perfectly, despite the fact this was several decades after his passing. Can you read that? I don't know. How to... The last known owner of the home, Miss Howron, hired homekeepers to attend to the home while she was out. They have all described paranormal events taking place repeatedly. A specific scenario that, would happen repeatedly, where they described that an old African American spirit, <laughs> Henry, would walk up from the <laughs> can't of the home can't scare me like that. Uh, to the <laughs> down facing one what is that? <laughs> It's not even scary. After several minutes, he would then return back to the basement. It was later uncovered that there was previously a fireplace built into the wall he would always face. It is presumed that he has some kind of unfinished business there. Must be some later on, dumb business, if you know what I'm saying. withered spear revealed that he felt content in the home as he felt he, quote, had nowhere else better to be, end quote. As well as revealing that a hobby of his is, quote unquote, going fishing. It's just like me. I love, I love going. I, I love go. <laughs> it makes sense seeing as the Lenhaven waterway is just nearby. Looking deeper, it was revealed during the course. Show that of picture already. Can't, can't do that. On the third floor, in the old kitchen, 
Even after the Emancipation Proclamation was issued, Henry continued living his life on the plantation by choice until he passed away. What's this? Is this, uh... I don't even know what this is supposed to be, you know. <laughs> Some nerd stuff, probably. You know. See that thing that freaking that picture got me. You know, I'm I, I'll admit that that picture that ghost got me. Okay, it you know some sometimes ghosts can just get scary. All right, yeah. everyone gets sca scared sometimes. You know, you can't can't judge a guy. Just can't ju can't judge a guy for you know getting a little a little frightened sometimes. It just startled me a little. I wasn't even scared. What? Is that a penis? It's a large penis. It's no, uh, no, you know, it's, uh, smaller than mine, though. <laughs> mine is big. Where's the, where's the scary stuff, huh? How about you bring us the dang scary stuff? Cause this video ain't scary. <laughs> you know. Can't can't say I'm scared. Oh, you're not welcome. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's, let's 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 watch another one of this guy's videos. Let's see. Uh, here we go. Hi. Even scary. <laughs> what, what is this crap? You know. <laughs> Gotta tell you, man. I'm not. I'm not scared by this one. This one's not getting me. So, you know that that bored me that crap bored me so much i had to i i, I did some digging around his channel i found out um he he actually caught some paranormal activity on camera so i'm gonna watch it right now um Guys, we're gonna watch so it i was just chilling on my bed what i'm watching it and my closet light just turned on maybe set up the camera somewhere to see if i can catch it happening again Okay, there's no one in here. That's that's actually creepy. Jeez, okay. Alright. Is not even scary. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, 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 man. <laughs> oh, man. Um, you know, this is this is really tired me out, but um. <laughs> You know, I, I, you know, when he comes out with part two of that video where he actually goes to that stupid house, may, maybe I'll find something scary. But yeah, I don't, I didn't see anything scary in uh, this video. So uh, yeah, this, I'll have to give this uh, guy a, a thumbs down for now. So uh, I guess I, I'll see you guys in the uh, in the next video. <laughs> Subscribe.